Good afternoon everyone. Welcome to another set of videos in which we continue to discuss how you can configure Business Central. So today's video is a little bit more technical than the configuration aspect of it as a functional consultant. So today we're going to actually talk about uh, general journals, how you can use Microsoft Excel, uh, connect Microsoft Excel to a general journal of Business Central Cloud, and how you can import a shortcut dimension so there is a a lag a, a drawback about shortcut dimensions and when you import and export uh, things from a journal line to from a configuration packages uh, you cannot actually uh, configure or you cannot import uh, a shortcut dimension into the system so that is one of the things that microsoft is uh, trying to work on to get uh, the shortcut dimension data available when you import or export things out in and out of Excel. So before I start, I want to actually show you where you can find dimensions. So if you go to general ledger setup, that is where you will be defining global dimensions and a shortcut dimension. So in this system that I have here, there are two global dimensions and the third global dimension, or the third shortcut dimension actually is the vendor group. So the global dimensions actually come out of the system when you import or export an Excel sheet, uh, but the shortcut dimension is something that gets missed out. And in this video, I'm going to actually show you how you can enable that from the back end and be able to actually import things into the system. So uh, first thing you need to do is actually go into the general journals. So I'll just pick this default general journal and I have one of the lines already posted and published for testing purposes we'll create a new line so as you could see that the two global dimensions are here the shortcut dimension 3 is here uh, so as a vendor group code uh, so the first thing that you want to do is actually go to page and edit in Excel so this will actually save a file which I have right here and this file uh, would when you open this file and uh, be able to edit this you will have Microsoft Dynamics Office uh, added that will be enabled and you it will be asked to actually sign in and you should be able to connect the real live data so I have actually done this already and as you could see that the very first line was uh, already available and I had to publish so it got imported back into Business Central so I have actually done the second line I haven't published it but I will show you how you can enable the shortcut dimension 3 first before we actually publish it in the system so as you scroll through it you will see that you have shortcut dimension 3 here so this shortcut dimension 3 is what I had enabled uh, from the back end uh, and these uh, global dimensions were already exported out uh, from the system when I did the edit in Excel so the thing that you want to do when you have the data connectors enabled and you've signed in you want to go into the design so click design and click the edit table you can actually edit different kinds of tables so you can have the data source and pick different tables like this what you could do is add a table and then pick a different data source of the table but we're going to go with the general journals because that's the one that we're working with so we're going to click on edit these are all the tables that are present in this template and as you had seen uh, there are shortcut dimension four five six seven and eight so you simply select one click and add and as you can see I've done it here there's a shortcut dimensions uh, available and you simply update so once you have once you update you press done and you have to refresh it will ask you that you're going to lose your data and whatnot that is okay because we won't have any data in the first place so once you refresh you will see a shortcut dimension 3 pop out here with that we're going to actually input some values so the more the basic things that you want to input are the ones that I have it established here so let me go back to the general journal line and then let me show you that there is no second line here at the moment so the only first line that was imported uh, by me uh, just prior to this demo so I'm going to just exit that I'm going to go back into the Excel let's populate all these required fields uh, that we would like to import so the document number is there uh, make sure that you have uh, the uh, count type the count numbers applicable uh, because this if you have this uh, spelled out incorrectly you'll get an error right away 
So you want to make sure that you get it mapped correctly. So as we scroll down uh, the row, I have information here. So amount is 150. We're going to keep it as is. And we'll continue to go right. So balancing account of customer. And I have selected a different customer, so 20,000 in this case. And we'll continue to scroll through. And I'll show you uh, another thing that you need to make sure that you have. Uh, written down properly so that the global dimension here is pro product small is a uh, another global dimension you have to identify the template and the batch name and the line number so this is another thing that you need to make sure that you have it the line numbers increment in uh, in the increment of 10,000 so the next line is 20,000 and then moving forward be 30,000 and uh, put in the shortcut dimension 3 so when all the information is there all you simply need to do publish and then I will start publishing the uh, journal lines into the actual journal so as you can see published successful workbook was updated I'm gonna go back into this default and there we go so the posting dates here document type is payment all of the information has been captured the way it should be and the amount is 150 as I had shown it to you and this is the exciting part right here the vendor group code is small so normally, uh, as I told you, the shortcut dimensions are the ones that you can't import. And there's a bit of a problem with Microsoft when they were building this and they're working on it. But this is a workaround that you wouldn't really see in the documentation of Microsoft. So this is how you can import a shortcut dimension. And regardless of however many you have, you can easily import them uh, using an Excel. So with that, I would like to exit this video and then hope that you actually learned something that you hadn't seen in the past.